all right guys uh, welcome back to another video of python with mongodb uh, in this video we'll be seeing about uh, creating database collections and inserting data within the collections so as i've told earlier that uh, you can't create a database until unless you have content uh, within the collection so referring to collections uh, uh, collections within the mongodb are like uh, tables within sql or mysql systems so uh, when it comes to uh, table for an sql database it is similarly uh, collections for mongodb so the format uh, of storing the data uh, within the mongodb is different uh, from that of uh, a, a SQL database so SQL database has a tabular format with the rows and columns um, but when it comes to um, MongoDB on the format of storing the the records or the datas uh, within the um, collections that is a table which which is within a database is in the format of a dictionary so as you all know dictionaries that i assume that a uh, dictionary has uh, keys and values kind of format so here this is the format of dictionary and uh, this dictionary consists of names and address so if i take as a reference to a tabular format uh, it has a column of name and address and within that name column it has multiple names and multiple address so when it comes to the format of mongodb it comes in the value of keys and um, value uh, keys and values for a particular key it has a certain value so the basic uh, format of a dictionary so the approach of storing data within a database or a collection in a mongodb is in the form of dictionaries so the initial step is uh, from pymongo uh, import the mongo client create the object of the client providing the uh, default port and local host then here is the step where you create the database so create an object and referring to this my client over here you provide the database name so after creating uh, I'll just provide over here DB name and after that providing DB name you provide the collection name right so these are the two crucial steps for initial it is uh, creating the DB then providing the collection collections are similar to the tables it just doesn't matter so now providing uh, data um, now for providing data within the uh, table or collections whatever you want so this is the format dictionary format take the same or take whatever you want whatever uh, the data you want in this format and store it within this collection which is db table that's what i like to call and after that providing my list as an object to this method so this method what it does is that insert many is the inbuilt method within mongodb and it will um, insert the docu uh, insert the data within the uh, collection so this is like an inbuilt function um, if i reference it with sql it's like insert into operation so take a variable x and this is my collection this it's referring over here and this is the function insert many so what is insert many uh, if you want to insert multiple values within multiple records within a collection you need to use uh, insert many uh, there is also another method called insert one like insert one 
so what this function does is that it will insert a single value provided by the user so instead of this many values or records it will just only use a single uh, query provided by the user that's it not not much of a difference so these are two crucial steps performed for insert, uh, inserting values or records within the collection this and pass it to the my list as a parameter for inserting the values and so now what I'm doing is that for checking whether that uh, the database which I've created which is demo exists within uh, within the Mongo client or not or within the Mongo environment or not so for that I've just uh, created a variable which is a database list list out all the uh, database which I've created which I've not done and this is the first uh, database which I've created and uh, this is my client referring and list as I've shown previously list uh, database names so if there's a if else condition method if the um, data uh, database which I've created which is demo exists within the database it will uh, sh uh, it will show the database exists else not present and print the database list that's it so i'll just run and make sure that it will be present right so what is the database which i've created is demo right so over here i've just uh, used a user input and uh, let's enter demo right on uh, demo so as you can see it shows the database already exists as previously which i've shown that there were only local config and admin three default database or conditions provided when this particular function was ran uh, sorry this this one list database as i've created and provided values within that collection and database it has created a database that is demo so we have successfully created a database with a collection and uh, data within that collection successfully so that's it for it guys and uh, this is uh, this uh, this is the basic procedure of creating a database collection and adding value within it so the most important don't forget about it is that you need to provide uh, data within the collection before uh, creating and listing out the database or else you will not get anything so that's it for it uh, that's it for this video guys if you have any concerns queries and questions about this video you can comment down below and so and the code for this entire uh, series will be available in the link in the description below in the github uh, repository you can go there and check it out and uh, uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video